Griffith Park is an oasis in Los Angeles that is full of trails to overlooks and places to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. One of the hikes that should not be missed is the beautiful trail known as Ferndale. The hike here feels like something you'd never expect to see in Los Angeles, and it's a great escape for tourists and residents alike. Pair it with a hike up to Griffith Observatory, like we did in this video, and you're in for an awesome Los Angeles adventure. Here's all the information. To get to the trailhead, head to the Griffith Park entrance on Ferndale Drive. Here there's lots of street parking, but note that it can fill up early on weekends. Today we're in Griffith Park and we're heading out on the Ferndale hike up to the Griffith Observatory. Almost immediately you'll see the sign for Ferndale and can enter the oasis and start the beautiful hike. It's crazy that you have the main road through Griffith Park right there and then you're in this beautiful creek and wooded area. This trail is incredibly family friendly with a slight uphill that should be good for most people. The path is graded and wide with multiple bridges that allow you to cross over the stream that you're walking alongside. Just hiking the Ferndale section is about a half mile round trip. It's one of those places that you want to plan a decent amount of time for as you're definitely going to want to take your time and just experience it. This is especially true if you're traveling with young children as there's often some flowering plants, little waterfalls, and even ponds along the way. There's a few different access points. If you park up there, you can walk in across this bridge, access the Ferndale area. According to the Griffith Park website, a lot of these trails and bridges were built in the 1930s. And they state that there's over 50 different fern species along the trail. This area is beautiful, very family friendly, and unlike anything you would see in Los Angeles. What I love most about this area is just seeing all the different people enjoy it. We passed people of all ages walking the trail and everyone was just relaxed enjoying the beautiful views. This feels rare in Los Angeles as the city is so fast paced and it's nice to be able to take a break like this. I'm guessing it's a nice area after the rain too. There's probably a little waterfall right here. It doesn't rain much in LA though. This is the last bridge of the trail. It's bridge number nine. And now we're exiting the Ferndale area. Amy, what'd you think about the trail? I thought it was really nice. It was a very unexpected little urban solace in the middle of LA. You ready to go to the observatory? I am. Let's go. What's nice about that trail is it's about a quarter mile long. So if you're coming with a family, especially with young kids, you can just do the quarter mile and you can go right back to your car. But if you want to make it longer, there's tons of other trails in Griffith Park. If you come with your family and make it to the top of Ferndale, there's a big playground there and some bathrooms. There's our first view of Griffith Observatory, which is our destination. If you want to do the hike that we did, you can look it up on all trails. It's the Ferndale to the West Observatory Loop Trail. It's 2.6 miles round trip with 600 feet of elevation, which all comes in this section up to the observatory. This hike is basically a dirt road the whole time. There's no shade, but it's not too far to get to the observatory. It's not too far, but it's relatively steep and it is hot. Also get your first view of the Hollywood sign on this trail. Pretty far away, but that's cool. As the trail continues to wind up on long switchbacks, you'll get better views of the Hollywood sign as you get closer to the observatory. So that's the direction right there that continues to Griffith Observatory, but you can also go this way when you loop back to the parking lot. It's just a a little bit different trail. There's the observatory right behind me. We are almost there. It's definitely steep, but it's a nice short workout in the city. When you get to this bend, you'll have amazing views one way of the Hollywood sign in the observatory and the other way with downtown Los Angeles. There's downtown LA out in the distance. Also, this is a epic rest spot with this bench looking out right here before finishing the hike. The observatory actually isn't open today till noon, which is a couple hours from now, so we're not going to go inside of it, but you can go hang out on the lawn and look out for some of the viewpoints. I've been to the observatory many times, so it didn't matter to me that it wasn't open, but if you're planning this hike and you haven't been to the observatory, be sure to do it when it is open as it's amazing to explore. Almost to the observatory. We made it to the Griffith Observatory, Hollywood sign right there. This is a great place to hang out. 
From the observatory, you have an unobstructed but far away view of the Hollywood sign. Be sure to bring your zoom lens if you want to take some good pictures of it. There's a wide open grass lawn here that people are always having picnics and just relaxing on. We found some shade to drink our water with a view of the Hollywood sign before we head back down. Even when the observatory itself isn't open, you can still walk all the way around the outside of the building. As you walk around, you can get views of downtown LA, the trail you came up, the amazing Griffith Observatory building, and of course the Hollywood sign. What did you think of this hike? It was perfect. It's definitely one of my favorite hikes in LA so far. I agree, that's an awesome trail with some iconic parts of Los Angeles. Plus you could continue, go to Mount Hollywood if you wanted to. We're heading back down to see if the cafe is open. On the way back down, you can take the trail that you went up or the other one I showed you halfway through the video to make it a little loop. Right when you get back to Ferndale, there's a place called the Trails Cafe that we were hoping to stop at. Unfortunately, the Trails Cafe is closed on Tuesday and Wednesday, so <laughs> nothing for us. But thanks for going on this hike with us. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Check it out for yourself. See you on the next one.